guys, welcome to our MCPS part 1 MCQ series. Today's MCQ is which of the following is the characteristic side of the hemorrhagic infarction? And options are heart, kidney, spleen, lungs and rectum. Before proceeding to correct the MCQ, we have to understand what is a hemorrhagic infarct. A hemorrhagic infarct is ischemic infarct or a necrosis, an area of necrosis where bleeding is within the necrotic area. First of all, let us see all the options one by one and first option is heart. So let me show you a slide that is showing a heart infarct. This is a typical heart infarct that actually the heart infarct looks somehow pale, yellow. It is not hemorrhagic because uh, the heart has copulative necrosis and the structure is totally preserved and the ischemia causes copulative necrosis and it uh, becomes pale with the passage of time. Let me show you a chart how myocardial infarction looks with the passage of time. After 18 to 24 hours paler of myocardium, 24 to 24 uh, to our spare with some hyperemia, seven, three to seven days hyperemic border with the central yellowing mass, and uh, 10 to 20 after 10 to 21 days maximal yellow and soft with the vascular margins, and after seven weeks white fibrosis. Myocardial infarction is a paler infarction. You can see in the slide it is a paler type of infarction, a cognitive necrosis where the whole uh, structure is preserved. You know, co in cognitive necrosis, whole structure of the cell and the, the tissue is preserved. So, the myocardial infarction is not a hemorrhagic infarction. Our first option is not right. Let's go to our next option, and that is kidney. This is a slide showing kidney infarct. Kidney infarcts are mostly or renal infarcts are mostly pyramidal or V-shaped lesions. This is a kidney infarct and you can see this is a pyramidal, somehow uh, a pyramidal type of infarct. It's also pale, no hemorrhage is seen here. So our second option kidney is also wrong. Our next option is spleen. And splenic necrosis is also ischemic necrosis devoid of blood. This is in spleen and this is a splenic necrosis. It is also devoid of, devoid of blood. It is not a hemorrhagic infarction. It is a ischemic infarction totally preserved with the uh, preserved tissue mass. So it is this option is also wrong. Our next option is lungs. Lungs is correct one. So I will skip this option and I will jump to the rectum. Infarction of the rectum rarely occurs because it is a rich blood supply. But when it occurs, it is mostly ischemic. So our right uh, answer is lungs. Let's see the lung infarction area. This is a lung infarct. You can see it is totally hemorrhagic. An important thing to mention, where does hemorrhagic infarct occurs? In hemorrhagic infarct occurs in organs with dual blood supply as lungs or liver or organs with loose tissues as brain, testis, ovaries. These tissues are prone to hemorrhagic infarct. So lung is right answer here. Our answer is lungs. Okay, so goodbye with this MCQ. We will meet in another video with in another MCQ or in another series with in another topic. Till then, for the happiness.